Hello everybody. What we've been talking about in chapter 9 here is how do we break down the food we eat and use the chemical energy of our food to produce ATP energy, which is the type of energy that your cells use. And the first part of that story is a process called glycolysis and it takes place in the uh, cytoplasm of your cell and it basically involves breaking down a six carbon molecule of glucose into two three carbon molecules of pyruvate. There are many intermediate steps in here which we won't pay attention to right now but you can watch the video uh, on the website. It talks a little bit more about the individual steps. But here we go. Uh, the main idea here is you take your glucose molecule six carbons and the end result is it's going to be broken in half into two three carbon pyruvic acid molecules well as you can imagine in order to break something in half you need to invest a little bit of energy so you have to actually invest two ATPs into this process and you'll get ADP once you remove that third phosphate and then you can put four ADPs in and it'll give you back four ATPs. Main idea here is I guess is <clears throat> sort of like pulling the cord on your snowblower. You've got to invest a little energy in and you'll get twice as much energy out. And also in this process called glycolysis, in this series of chemical reactions there's a need to remove a couple of electrons. And what we use to remove and carry electrons is a little molecule we talked about called NAD. NAD comes in here, strips a few electrons off of one of these steps, and you get NADH. When NAD is carrying electrons, we call it NADH. And you might say, why is that? It should be NADE. Well, the electrons don't travel by themselves. They travel as a hydrogen atom. So if we were going to draw this in the symbolism of that, we would say what it really is is N, A, D, and a hydrogen atom, which would be a proton and an electron. So it's carrying this electron as part of that hydrogen atom. Well, um, that's it. We break down a molecule of glucose and the two three carbon molecules of pyruvic acid. In order to make that happen, you have to invest two ATPs, but you'll get out four ATPs. That means we've got a overall gain of two ATPs. We always like to talk about it in terms of what was the electron donor in this story. Well, the electron donor was glucose. That's where the electrons were at the beginning of the story. For those electrons that moved, what was the electron acceptor? NAD. You also like to take a little tally of what went into the story and what came out. So in this little box, in this little table, we'll say, well, we started with one glucose. And we ended up with two pyruvic acids. We had to put in two ATPs, and we got four ATPs out. We had to put in two NADs, and we got two NADHs out. 
Now, there's a nice McGraw, uh, there's a nice link to a McGraw-Hill video about glycolysis, uh, which will be on the web page probably right below this video. So check that out.